Yeah. This is what 483 wheel horsepower looks like. P48, 500 plus wheel foot pounds of torque. Looks pretty stock. Right, so night before we turned up the booster about 30 pounds, did a street log and we found that the car was struggling to make the 30 pounds of boost. It was only making around 25 pounds of boost. And the next morning we were troubleshooting to see if we had any boost leaks and we found the culprit. We were suspecting the blow valve. So we ended up um, changing back the spring from the pink spring to the original um, blue spring so that way the blow up valve wouldn't open at all during the runs and well for safety we left it with that um, just to make sure it don't open and when we were putting back the blow up valve we saw the blow up valve line itself um, the vacuum line it had a pinhole leak which would kind of correspond to why we were only getting 25 pounds of boost and it wasn't going more than that so we got that fixed uh, basically what we did was put a rubber sleeve over it so when the engine rocks it was actually rubbing on the line and it eventually made a pinhole leak so this rubber sleeve would protect it from that right and now we're gonna show you we have our methanol 100% met x98 ms109 uh, e50 mixture basically fully sent for fuel to avoid any knock issues and should be able to send it fully with that Here's the initial dyno chart, uh, first pull, basically the boost and everything was back down after we fixed the boost leak, this is the first pull on the dyno uh, and basically on, well you would see the second revision there where Paul would be increasing the boost slightly, adjusting timing, those sort of things and slowly ramping up the power to make sure everything is nice and healthy. Alright, so here you could see run file 19, we started hitting some high pressure fuel pump limitations. Basically we were dropping off, um, the fuel pump was dropping off about 200 psi roughly. And here you could see it on the logs. Um, basically we are maxing out the fuel pump on the E50 mixture. Yeah, you could see the car makes around 480 plus wheel horsepower, 500 plus wheel foot pounds of torque at around 30 psi, 16 degrees timing and basically we had to reduce the power a bit to compensate for the high pressure fuel pump crashing. There are a couple things we could do to improve the situation. Basically we could have um, dropped the ethanol content uh, we could have run more timing, a bit less boost, those sort of things, but 
really didn't have much time as I had a flight the next day. Um, so that, that was the initial results. Stay tuned. We'll be looking at um, upgrading the high pressure fuel pump, also doing dual met injection, those sort of things, looking for solutions. All right, special thanks to all who made this possible. Special shout out to FAD Paul. This wouldn't be possible without his excellent tuning skills. Protein and freaks um, would not be possible without this tuning platform. Really appreciate the support from Harlem Surge Design. Um, shout out to Big Boost for his turbo kit, which really pushed this engine. Um, engine was built by us. Um, absolutely no issues with the engine build. No oil consumption. No issues at all. The car, as you can see, pushes the power and holds up pretty good. XHP flash tool. The car has a stage three transmission flash basically the best is out for BMWs um, CP Carrello piston rods um, super tech valve spring retainers ARP head studs and main studs purchased from real street performance ACL race rod bearings the car has a snow performance stage 2.5 kit VP racing fuels um, BMS um, boost adapter and also thanks to the guys at BMS for the support with the blower valve, Toa Smart blower valve, the battery tune, Harry from there. Um, the car has the best Wi Fi adapter on the market, and also thanks to Harry for sharing his information about the B48 uh, limitations, his experience with that, HCP performance, Harlem numerous assistance with him with a lot of questions and answers dino lab best dino there is in trinidad shout out to those guys um shiv did the exhaust and the tips as you can see one of the best titanium tips from pipeworks thanks to everyone else who made this possible